the crowd. Drawn out project management processes. There are 47 processes in the 5th edition of the Pimbok. Here is an explanation of one of them. Manage stakeholder engagement. Now manage stakeholder engagement, of course, is how we're going to work with our stakeholders and according to our plans. So our inputs would naturally be our plans. One most important plan would be your stakeholder management plan. That helped us decipher how we're going to work with them. And then you can argue pretty much any of the project management plans could be an input here, but really let's highlight the communications management plan, because really that's how we've decided how we're going to work and communicate with them. Additionally, any changes that have happened or occurred, whether it's any of the plans or any of the work that's being done, needs to be an input here, and that would be the change log. And finally, your organizational process assets, so tools and, and uh, templates and other things that you might have at your disposal to help you manage your stakeholders and their engagement. Now the tools and techniques, well, we have communication plans, well that means we need to communicate. So that means we use the communication tools at our disposal and whatever methods that we've decided is going to best work for our stakeholders. Likewise, you as a project manager have many skills and that would be your interpersonal skills as well as your management skills. But in both cases, it's really how you behave, how you act, how you interact, and how you coach, how you mentor, how you really follow through and communicate and, and do the things that you said you would do. And that's not really just you as a project manager, but really all stakeholders. And the outputs then would be any issues that arise and the log of those issues and the communication around that. And then you would also have the outputs of updates. So if things change or have been altered or just need to be identified that have been um, most current is your project management plan. So you have updates and any other documentation that we're using in the course of our project. And you know, for instance, tools, and, or, I'm sorry, the templates. Like in our organizational process assets, they could also be an output because if we update them, then that also needs to be reflected in our in our documentation. And that is the process of managed stakeholder engagement.